All right, so here's the 1941 ham radio excavated from my grandfather's basement. Right now I've got a uh, coat hanger for an antenna. I don't have the ridiculous antenna that my grandfather has in his house to pick up stations from Canada. But I, uh, the speaker's not working on the top. So, uh, the headphone jack has this connection here to my speaker. So I have an amplifier right there, which is getting the sound. I'm on one of these other bands here and I'm not picking up anything except static. And, uh, however, if I switch this to the top one, you can see that turning right there. Let's switch now to the top one. I guess it sounds like this if I put the BFO on. I get some cool sounds. I'll probably record some of that, but let's see here. Well, I should shut that off. Right now. So there we go. AM stations are on the top row, right there. I kind of like that music. There should be some talk radio on here somewhere. Okay, here we go. We should get something now. Well, we will continue our study about the joyful mind. So meet us here next week on Walking the Word with James McDonald. So there you go. It picks up local AM stations. These other things, these other rows are for uh, Morse code and who knows what else. Without the aid of a gigantic antenna, probably won't pick up anything. Although I'm still exploring. And I will see what I can do to connect a uh, more powerful antenna. If I can put something together or find something inexpensive and see what can be picked up. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to hear all kinds of Morse code, all that did it, it dot dot did it stuff, all those high pitched beepings and uh, whatnot. As everybody was using their little Morse code doodads to communicate with each other. And occasionally I'd hear a pirate radio station. So, so that's where I'm at with this thing. This relic from 1941, from my grandfather's basement. <laughs>